This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Investigators are working a suspicious fire at a Miami nightclub. It happened at Roombas, located at 4545 Northwest 7th Street. According to Miami Fire Rescue, someone, someone passing by reported flames and smoke around 3 this morning. When crews arrived, the front door was open, a piece of plexiglass was pushed out, and they found a single black glove on the ground. There was also a notice on the front door by the landlord saying the owner must pay almost $17,000 in rent and late fees by today or vacate. A woman shot to death on Collins Avenue was involved in a human trafficking investigation. 32-year-old Latoya Michelle Wiggins was shot and killed on 10th and Collins Avenue in Miami Beach Sunday. Police are looking for shooting suspect 33-year-old Keith Brown. Officers believe surveillance video captured Brown running from the crime scene early Sunday morning. Police are investigating the death of two people near Hollywood Beach. About 2.30 yesterday morning, the body of a middle-aged woman was found in the water at Fillmore Street and the ocean. Then a second body was discovered at a hotel a block away on New York Street. The second body was a man who is related to the case. Police are not saying how either died. They are saying the two knew each other and this was not a random act of violence. The parents of the teenage driver killed in a fiery Tesla crash in Fort Lauderdale last year are suing, suing Tesla. The parents of Barrett Riley say Tesla failed to put a safety feature on their battery that would have prevented the vehicle from being engulfed in flames during an accident. The parents also say they asked Tesla to put a speed limiting device on the car after their son got a speeding ticket for driving more than 110 miles per hour. The family says Tesla removed the device without their knowledge. We reached out to Tesla for comment on the lawsuit, but have not heard back. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good Thursday morning, waking up with the upper 70s in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, 80 degrees in Key West, and we are still south of this frontal boundary. There's some lingering moisture, and with the heating of the day, that'll likely lead to some scattered storms today. Breeze out of the northwest, 5, 9 miles an hour. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s in Broward and Dade, low 80s down through the Keys as we head throughout the day. Highs in the upper 80s, and then, yeah, thunderstorms will likely be developing that could produce some heavy rain, lightning, and for you Boaters and advisory sees two to four light chop on the bays tonight. Some spotty storms, upper 70s as we head into your Friday. We'll see a lower rain chance, but still some passing showers and maybe a couple of storms for your weekend. Looking drier, less humid, pleasant sunshine and highs right around 86. Is that thanks? And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMommy.com. Tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all today's important headlines.